This is AEDT 1160U Digital Communication Technologies. The title for this video clip is Branding CyberQuest. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What are the five principles that one should follow to create a good logo? What is a visual identity? How will you answer the questions in the CyberQuest? There is a common agreement that there are five principles to follow to create a good logo. Simplicity, memorability, timelessness, versatility, and relevance. Usually a good logo has very few lines. People will associate it easily with the company and it can be used for a long time for several products. There are some exceptions to this, such as some university logos that have a lot of details and use Latin sentences that people no longer understand. In such cases, these logos don't follow all five principles, but they do follow a few of them, such as memorability, timelessness, and relevance. However, the idea that it takes only 15 minutes to design a logo and that it costs $35 is far from representing the real work involved in the design of a visual identity for a company. That is, the visual elements of a brand that convey a symbolic meaning. Designers collect data through questionnaires, interviews, focus groups, meetings, etc. They prepare several draft versions of the logo and go back and forth with the customer until they come up with the final, refined version of the logo. The work is usually done with a vector-based program that allows designers to create scalable artwork. Now that you know the basics, Let's play a game in the format of cyber quests. You will need to take note of the questions we are asking you or to stop the video and search for logos on another browser page. We suggest that you consult the resources we identified for this session in the course outline. Think of the products you own. Which one has a logo that brings you comfort? Think of your day-to-day -day life. Which brand do you recognize the easiest? Simple logos tend to be more effective. Think of a simple logo and explain why it is effective. Some companies have made a lot of work on their branding and their rebranding. Think of a company that changed or modified their name or their logo successfully. In your opinion, why was it successful? Some logos are very efficient at representing the company or the product. Can you identify one? Some logos are created out of company mergers and represent a blend of both companies. Can you find one? The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Can you describe the process of creating a logo? Which of the five principles named do you think is the most important? Was it easy or difficult to answer the CyberQuest questions? Why?